Welcome to Ruhide University for all your performance horse tack tips and more. Hey guys, Brian and John here with Ruhide Saddlery and today's Ruhide University video, we're gonna be talking about the DP tie down. So the DP slide and tie down is a wire setup. We've got twisted wire here over the pole and twisted wire across the uh, nose band. So a traditional leather or nose band tie down becomes a balance point for the horse to lean into, okay? So yes, it can get headset and it can help the horse balance and lean into it. The issue with that is we're loading more weight over that front end. That horse is pushing and now using that as a balance point, almost where if you wouldn't cut that tie down, that horse would want to fall forward on its face. So in a performance horse, we're constantly trying to get them to lighten their front end and drive and engage from behind. So with a setup like this, we're not making them become reliant on a tool like a regular tie down where they're gonna constantly hunt for it and lean into it. I want them to get that muscle memory and learn how to frame up and stay inside of this, not comfortably lean into it. So that being said, a horse needs to understand how to give to that pressure. I want to give them the best opportunity or chance to do that. So before just cinching them up tight, I'm going to pull down on it and let him start to feel where that pressure is going to come from up here and across the nose. And when he gives, I'm going to give. And I want him to start to feel that. I can walk him off, do it in a couple other spots. And then I'm going to cinch it up right to his D-ring here um, at the cinch and start pretty conservative, okay? And progressively tighten up to find where's that point where this horse is driving up and engaging in his hind end and still in a balanced position. We don't want to tie their head through their legs. They still got to be able to get their nose out there and hunt that cow or come across that barrel. Whatever it is they're doing, they still have to have that nose out there. We'll give you guys a better visual once we get out to the arena. All right, guys. So now I'm in the round pen with my DP tie down. I've got my little diva queen here. Um, this mare's full of attitude. She thinks her life's a lot rougher than it really is. She's just got her ears pinned back about life. Even in the pasture, she's can be a little bit of an ornery one. So um, with, with mares like this or horses like this in general, having a training it or a tie down setup like this, not only do I like what it does to them physically, for horses that have a lot of fight, the only way for them to get away from the pressure is to finally mentally give in. So once they get to that point where it's and they've gotten there, that pressure goes away and a lot starts to happen right here between the ears. In order for them to physically soften and give, she has to mentally soften and give. So I want this to be a positive experience for her though. And I'm not just gonna go crank it up tight on her like I talked about earlier. I want to introduce it to her. So she's gonna get pressure pull from up here and across the nose. So I wanna introduce it to her. Well, she's actually being pretty dang smart about it already. I don't mind that she backs up off of it she's feeling where that pressure is going to come from. I can walk her off somewhere again. I'm drawing it towards that chest like she's going to feel. Good. When she gives, I'm going to give. So now for setup. This snap is going to run down here to this uh, little D-ring on my cinch. We make this strap long enough so we can use it on some bigger horses, like bigger barrel horses, rope horses. Um, so right now this one is set up. A little bit big but like I spoke about when we were in the barn we're gonna start conservative we actually want to let them be able to get their head out there and find they'll feel it they'll hit it and they're gonna start to learn to frame up and stay inside of it without maybe as big of a, a blow up or an issue so she's gonna be able to still get her nose about to right there There we go, my butter fingers. Okay, so my job while working with this horse is I have to be the driver. Sometimes when a horse isn't, you, doesn't know how to handle this kind of pressure, they feel that wall right in front of them and their instinct is gonna be to come up and over to get away from it. Your job is to keep that forward momentum and them driving into it so that they learn to come off of it <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and ask her to send off here. 
And I'm gonna let her start at a reasonable pace here. Good, so I don't mind her just trotting off. I like that I'm seeing a little bit of droop there in that tie down rope. Okay, so we're starting to see a little head swinging and she's gonna be a good example of this because she is a full on diva. So when she feel, feels something she doesn't like, she's gonna let you know. So all I'm really doing right now is just making sure I've got enough pressure to keep her going forward not making a bigger deal out of this than I have to, okay? I'm not even gonna pick her up to a lope yet. I will eventually get a direction change here. I'm gonna step across. Good, so look at that. She wanted to kind of elevate and uh, be a brat out of that and she was only able to get so far. So she's starting to feel it, and eventually we're gonna see that rope starting to dangle more and more. She's gonna realize it's not that comfortable to hollow out and to push heavily into that. So let's see how she's into the lope here. Good, so I want you guys to start to pay attention to your hind end. And as this thing slowly and progressively tightens up, we should see that stride deep in there in the hind end. So I'm gonna quit her here. We'll meet back up in a second. I'll show you it tightened up. Okay guys, so I've tightened her up progressively. I probably went about two inches tighter here. And just like anything with horse, I wanna take it in baby steps. I want it to be a positive learning experience. I'm not trying to create a blow up experience. So I've got her snugged up just a wee bit tighter. I'm gonna send her off a little here. Oh, not right into me. There we go. Remember, your job is to continually drive them forward. Pay attention to that hind end. Look how much deeper that footfall is going there with that hind end. You'll notice when a horse is hollowed out and strung out, their hawks end up traveling kind of more back through their tail rather than up under them. And we're gonna watch as she, we snub her up a little bit more, a little bit more. Those hawks will come deeper and deeper underneath her, okay? So I liked it. She had a smoother transition there from her trot into her lope. get a direction change out of her here in a second. So she's rushing it a little bit. That's okay. We're gonna get her starting to do this a little smarter, a little smoother. So there, now she's starting to come off of it. She was leaning into it a little. She's smart enough to know that she needs to come off of that pressure. Put that pressure. I'm gonna drive her a little hard out of that turn to make sure she goes somewhere. That we don't lose that forward momentum in that drive. Good, okay, I'm gonna bring her back in and we'll meet up here in a second once I tighten it up just a little more. All right guys, so I've got her progressively tightened up again here. Um, so now we're to a point where I think if I would have started here, we would have had a little bit of a fight little argument. She know, knows what to expect. She knows how to come off of it. And we should see some differences in her physically when she moves. And we're gonna see a big difference mentally once I'm ready to hop on her and ride, okay? So I'm gonna scoot her around again here and let's see if we can see some differences in, the, in her, uh, in how she travels. And I'm just gonna see if I can get her to work at a trot here where she's driving up. Really liking that stride. Notice we'll start to see that tie down rope. Even though we're tighter now, we have some slack in that tie down rope. And that's because that is not a big leather nose band for her to lean into and brace into. The whole idea behind this is to get them collected where they're lifting that rib cage, they're driving that hind end underneath them, 
and they're keeping their front end light. So she's gonna start to get that muscle memory to stay collected like this on her own. So it kind of was a, she fell into that turn, a leaky turn. So now we're starting to get her to come through a little flatter, driving out of that turn, not just rushing and flying through it. So I'm still not liking that turn to the right, so I'll set her up a little better, get her closer to that uh, the pen for that turn. Oh, it's all right. We're gonna get to see here, kind of that aha moment. So I don't need to put much pressure here. All I'm doing is make sure that we're still driving forward. I'm gonna stay quiet with my body. There we go, good. Get her right back to her trot. Get her driven up. My turns to the right were a little bit leaky on her, so I'm gonna keep some pressure on her so that we get a little closer to that fence when I get her to turn. So if I started taking this mare tighter than this, we're not gonna be doing much for her physically. It's gonna to start to get her over bridled and we can actually start to get them where they'll get too heavy on the front end because they've got that weight falling down there with that neck getting too low, that head coming too low. And you'd be blown away with some consistent work with just this. If she's gonna be fighting you at this stage with as simple as this is, she's gonna be fighting your hands, she's gonna be fighting you from under saddle. You can get so many holes out of her from here and she doesn't really even have to associate it with you in the saddle. We get to fill a lot of these holes in You'll love where their mind is at by the time you get on them after getting to do some of this driving. So this same wire tie down can be used right underneath your bridle, okay? So when I get on to ride her, I would be loosening her up just a fraction from this so I could still get her nose out there a little bit more. But because she was mentally able to give to it at this point, physically she's going to be softer Ooh. when I go to ride her. Hope this gave you guys a good little visual. Um, when, oh girl, there we go. So when uh, you're doing this at home, it probably uh, wouldn't be in your, it would probably be a good idea if you guys ran a breast collar or something to keep that um, tie down strap from getting too low or avoiding uh, a point where they could step through it. And uh, should help you guys out. Make sure you're